right, hello wine drinking people. Today is Wednesday, the 15th of May, and man, I've got the whole week off. I'm just relaxing at the beach this week. I've got no tastings, and man, it's good to have a little break. Well, let me tell you, we're right back into it next week. We have got four events. we got an event every other week now at Cafe Max. We're showing eight different wines. And Chef Oliver Saucy puts a few, you know, small plates together for you for $35, one of the best values in any event that we do. We also do this at the Edge Steak and Bar on Brickle in the Four Seasons Hotel every other Tuesday night. Two chances to come out and drink with me uh, for $35, bucks, man. I am not a cheap date because phew, the next night we have got Alvaro Palacios, one of the cult producers, one of the legendary producers of the pre route one of the original five at the Edge Steak and Bar. And going to cost you over 300 bucks to hang out with me on that evening and but we're drinking you know some incredible stuff two vintages of Lermita which is now a thousand dollars a bottle wow it's as much as a first growth Bordeaux and they only make 300 cases of Lermita a year and then we've got our Quintarelli versus Del Forno event on Friday night another once in a lifetime experience to be able to drink the wines of Giuseppe Quintarelli now the late great Giuseppe Quintarelli and Romano Del Forno two of the greatest producers in Italy, in the Veneto today. So some great opportunities to come out and drink with us next week. And hey, we're talking about our California Cabernet tasting. And not a tasting i got to talk about too much to sell. We had like 25 reservations before we even put together the list of wines that we're going to be showing. But we make a few exceptions in a few of these events. We'll be able to fit probably 40 or 50 people at Cafe Max for this one. Wow, a lot of people. But hey, people like Calif people like Cal Cabernet Sauvignon, it's immediate gratification. These are wines you can just open up and drink. We've got three of the last uh, vintages from Napa, Sonoma, Alexander Valley, and uh, Paso Robles, three of the best areas in California for growing Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon likes warmer climates. And if you look at where it's grown, well, in France, traditionally in Bordeaux, to the southwest, much warmer than it is in places like Burgundy or Alsace or other parts in northern France, which get to be pretty cold. Um, Chablis and Champagne, two very cold regions. You won't find Cabernet very successful. Or red wine grapes, for that matter, that grow in cool climates like that. But Cabernet Sauvignon likes warmth. Uh, that's why it does well in uh, well, the Alexander Valley in Sonoma, a little warmer area in Sonoma, and then uh, in Paso Robles which is a rather warm area in Southern California, which is actually hotter than Northern California because it's the only area where they have east to west running mountain ranges there. You get the influence of the big Pacific Ocean there a lot more than you do in the north where you have the mountain range running north to south right along the ocean, which block a lot of that cold air. Well, that's where you get the fog. Anyways, we're going to be serving eight different Cabernet Sauvignons on this evening, and Chef Oliver Sauce is going to be putting on a few small courses, and uh, we're going to have a large group. If you want to come to this event, I guarantee it's going to be sold out by next Monday or Tuesday night. So um, send us a little email. Give us a call. Let us know you guys want to come. We've already got 25 reservations. Check it out. The list of Cabernets we'll be drinking a week from tonight. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.